Come join us. Come to Clovis Bray and build the laboratory of your dreams. Anything you need, demand it and it's yours. At Clovis Bray, we have a singular understanding of genius and we appreciate how brilliant minds flourish when they enjoy total freedom. This is Freehold, the realm where the new and the best is born. Welcome back Guardians. Today we are taking a closer look at Clovis Bray. Why? Well, recent footage of Rise of Iron has revealed players can collect dormant SIVA clusters. Collecting one such cluster was captured at Gamescon, showing that the Grimmel card rewarded was Dormant SIVA, Clovis Bray 1.5. So I thought it useful to put together everything we currently know about Clovis Bray and his family. Follow me on Twitch for live Destiny lore streams, keep up to date on Twitter and stay tuned to the channel for weekly Destiny lore videos. This is Mylan Games and I hope you enjoyed this latest episode. Let's begin with potentially one of Clovis Bray's greatest achievements, the creation of the EXO. This speculation was sparked by Clovis Bray signs on Mars that read Clovis Bray, Exoscience, but would later be supported by Cade Six's journal that was received with the Taken King's Collector's Edition. In Cade's journal, it is heavily implied that Cade Six was not always an Exo and was originally a human. He completed a security mission for Clovis Bray, which unfortunately resulted in Cade damaging Bray's property and equipment. Clovis Bray sends Cade 6 the bill for the damage, which Cade adds to his growing debt. However, the bill was not just a bill, but a job offer, and I assume the job involved becoming an EXO. It is then heavily implied that Cade travels to an icy moon near Saturn. This could be Rhea, as in the cauldrons of Rhea, mentioned in the ghost fragment The Queen Grimmel card. Which by the way, this location is near the Nine. Once again, this is speculation, however, have a listen to how the journal reads. Floating in the black, I've been listening to nothing but my heart knocking for over 12 hours. EMUs low on air. I promise myself this job is the last. Promise myself this time I mean it. I feel the hull vibration through the station's thin metal skin. The airlock pump hisses. Long wait's over time to go to work. I'll spare you the gory details. Afterwards, fuming, Clovis Bray sends me a bill for the hull damage. My fault. The target put a blast wall between us. My fault things went wrong and we had to let our rifles do the talking. I tear the packet open. Tattered pieces of envelope drift to the floor. Surprise. It's not just a bill. There's a job offer tucked in. Seem old Bray's been looking for someone like me, willing to forgive my debt, and not just for the orbital station, all of it. Suddenly, I ain't so mad anymore. Saturn. No, someplace else, someplace colder. This moon has been almost completely converted, a sarcophagus of ice and iron. Stone towers rung round with glaciers, rooted deep within a heart of snow. I came here flesh and bone. Gave everything to the ice. Started over. Rebooted. Regardless to what you believe, even if Clovis Bray did not invent the EXO, I believe this heavily implies that at least he had the technology to convert humans to EXOs. His research may have even extended to the creation of the War Mines. The Ghost Fragment Clovis Bray card says this. She described test results from the last 5 billion runs of our AI initiative. Their AI initiative might actually be a reference to the Exos, or it could be a reference to the War Mines. With all this technology, it is no wonder that people predict Clovis Bray was involved with the creation of SIVA. However, I will come back to that topic shortly. Let's now talk about Clovis Bray's family. They include Clovis Bray II, Anna Bray, Elsie Bray, Willa Bray, and Alton Bray. We do in fact have some small amount of information about these characters. Clovis Bray II is mentioned in Ghost Fragment Clovis Bray. In this card, Clovis Bray II is currently 16 years old and having a conversation with his father about the universe. 
it is revealed that Clovis Bray believes in the multiverse theory. The card reads, The universe is infinite and probable in multiple ways, I said. Then I listed a few examples. The census of stars, the many worlds principle in the quantum mechanics, and the endless measure of tiny realms hiding inside every grain of Martian sand. The card gives the impression of a father passing on his passion and knowledge for the universe onto his son. Clovis obviously did this with his other children as they would go on to be historic in their own right. Anna Bray was a golden gun hunter who fought at the Battle of Twilight Gap. Her story is revealed in the item description for the hunter cloak, Strength of the Pack, which reads, A pattern worn by Anna Bray during the fateful Battle of the Twilight Gap and the exotic quest line for no time to explain, which has us retrieve her bracelet from Twilight Gap. The mission description reads, You want another story about the Twilight Gap? Anna Bray, the hunter. We all dug deep that day. We all touched the light in ways we never thought we could or should. Anna, though, when she fired the gun where her golden blast hit home, she left behind the pools of light like splashes of sunlight that burned and burned. Lord Shax. Elsie Bray is the inventor of the ship Eon Trespass. The item description reads, Born from the mind of Elsie Bray, three years before she disappeared. Unfortunately, we do not have any information about her disappearance. Dr. Willa Bray developed the first engram matter encryption techniques from relic crystals, which is told to us as part of the exotic sword quest for Dark Drinker, as we collect relic crystals from relic iron on Mars. The mission description reads, The unique data static structure of relic crystals inspired Dr. Willibray to develop the first engram matter encryption techniques during the Golden Age. I will come back to this in a moment and how this may be linked to SIVA. We do not have much information on Alton Bray, apart from the mention in the Meridian Bay Grimoire card which reads, A great city is a place where man competes with the gods. Alton Bray, Trials and Triumphs. As you can see, the Bray family were very talented, and maybe this was due to the very nature of Clovis Bray and how he respected the knowledge of everyone, even his children. Clovis Bray the second says this about his father in Ghost Fragment Clovis Bray. Father didn't have employees, or assistants, or for that matter, he didn't have heroes either. Every person, living or lost, was a collaborator, and that included his children. Clovis seemed to encourage everyone openly to pursue their dreams and science. Have a listen to the Ghost Fragment Meridian Bay Grimoire card. We want your grandchildren. Does that sound grim? Don't panic. We aren't talking about human babies, yours or anyone else's. We're talking about your inventions, the children of your mind. Come join us. Come to Clovis Bray and build a laboratory of your dreams. Anything you need, demand it and it's yours. At Clovis Bray, we have a singular understanding of genius and we appreciate how brilliant minds flourish when they enjoy total freedom. This is Freehold, the realm where the new and the best is born. This is where your brilliance, freed of budget constraints and managers, makes a universe dance. Clover Spray is a nursery, a nursery to a million marvels. Your inventions belong to no one but you. Cherish them, praise them, or tell them that they aren't worthy and set them inside a deep, dark drawer. But as every parent soon learns, children grow up, and every technology matures. At some point, your inventions are going to find mates. They will join with other marvels and produce a new generation of offspring. Maybe you'll build a better reactor. Meanwhile, the genius in the lab next door devises an elegant way to fold machines into tiny spaces. Your device meets hers, and a fierce little reactor is born. Your children are yours forever, and we are happy to arrange for their grandchildren to prosper. At this point, Clovis Bray seems like an amazing entrepreneur and a catalyst for discovery during the Golden Age. However, if we wanted to be more critical of this character, there are a couple of alternatives. Firstly, the Meridian Bay Grimoire card describing the laboratory of dreams could be a Golden Age advertisement at its finest. 
Or the second possibility is that Clovis Bray is hiding something. This is all too good to be true. Let's expand on the first option and assume there is nothing sinister here and that it is a golden age advert. Remember Clovis Bray was likely not the only company trying to invent new things and take advantage of the technology gifted by the traveler. Arguably, he may have been the most successful at it, however, definitely not the only one. The other facility that instantly comes to mind is the Ishtar Collective, the sprawling research facility on Venus, which focused on researching the Vex and housed the infamous Vex researchers, Dr. Shim, Mayas Andresh, Chioma Essi, and Dwayne McNeid. So put simply, natural competition formed between different research facilities during the Golden Age, and Clovis Bray was just advertising to lure the very best minds to their facilities. You can just imagine the appeal to a researcher on Earth during the Golden Age. The opportunity to leave Earth and travel to Mars and work for Clovis Bray in the laboratories of their dreams. And it was not just Mars that they could visit because Clovis Bray also had facilities on Venus in close proximity to the Ishtar Collective. The Asylum criminal card reads, before the collapse, this would have been just another stop on the subway line between Clovis Bray's Venus Arcology headquarters and the Academy campus by the shore. Now, it's a grim reminder of the lives, the dreams, and the progress we lost when the darkness came. Now let's have a look at option two. Clovis Bray is hiding something. This is too good to be true. Perhaps the most incriminating evidence is other researchers calling Clovis Bray the Sisyphus Project. The item description of the Sisyphus project reads, Clovis refuses to back down. Meanwhile, the others have taken to calling it the Sisyphus project. Laboratory notes found at a Clovis Bray facility. In Greek mythology, Sisyphus was a king punished for his self-aggrandizing craftiness and deceitfulness by being forced to roll an immense boulder up a hill only to watch it roll back down repeatedly for eternity. Sisyphus was also known for killing travelers and guests. When you combine this with the knowledge of Cade's story, someone who was in a lot of debt and was basically lured into becoming an exo to clear his debt, Clovis Bray's father of the golden age image starts to fall apart. Did he lure people to Mars to his research facilities to experiment on them? Did some of them die from this, just like Sisyphus, who killed the travellers and the guests? Maybe he did produce, or at least his family produced, one of the deadliest technologies, SIVA. Remember Dr. Willa Bray, who helped to develop the first engram matter encryption techniques during the Golden Age? Well, you might also remember that during the Game Informer article, they said this about SIVA. The story team told me that within the fiction, SIVA is actually this evolution of the matter encryption technology of engrams, but on a much vaster scale. As it turns out, putting it in the hands of these fallen splices isn't a great idea. Remember the Meridian Bay Grimmel card that I mentioned before, and how Clovis describes the inventions as children? And he says, I'll tell them they aren't worthy and set them aside in a deep, dark drawer. But as every parent soon learns, children grow up, and every technology matures. At some point, your inventions are going to find mates. <laughs> Is Siva, a child of the Clovis Bray facility, stuffed into a deep, dark drawer that eventually grew, and it grew uncontrollably? Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the video and this channel, leave the phrase, a Sisyphus project to represent that Clovis Bray lured researchers to his facility as part of a fatal experiment. This is Mylon Games and I hope you have enjoyed this latest Destiny Law episode. Peace.